Welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow, we remember human rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. Ooh, and, that's... and joining us now are Alfonso uh, Braggs, head of the NAACP here in Hawaii, and Dr. Adam hey. Robinson, director of the VA Pacific Islands Healthcare System. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. And uh, we honor a great leader tomorrow. Excellent. Tell us, um, let's start with you, Alfonso. Mm -hmm. What is the legacy that Dr. King leaves behind here? I think that, uh, first of all, even when he visited here in Hawaii in 1959, uh, he continued to remind the world that one, diversity is important, that human rights and civil rights are important, and that through servant leadership, we can definitely impact the global society. And that's something you continue to do with the Absolutely. NAACP. Mm -hmm. um, just give us a quick update about the efforts here. How far have we come since his time? You know, we've come a long ways, and yet we are still making and allowing things to reverse. You know, so the struggles of the 50s and the 60s civil rights efforts, you know, we have got to ensure that this new generation of leaders understand the sacrifices and understand why the fight for justice and equality is relevant today, mm -hmm. even from a different perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So we've made progress, we have not achieved yet, and so we've still got to stay in the struggle. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Robinson, you were just honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the NAACP. Uh, good to see, uh, good, congratulations, good thank, for that. Thank you very much, and thanks to the NAACP. It was quite an honor to receive it. And sometimes I wonder, well, why? But the why is, after 45 years in Navy and in, in the VA, uh, I've spent my life in this sector, but we really are after the things that Alfonso just talked about. We're after diversity, equity, and inclusion. We're after making sure that everyone recognizes that the fight for justice for all human beings is something that we have to be vigilant in every day. And it's something that we have to stay attuned to. Mm -hmm. And while obviously um, it started with the civil rights movement uh, with our African Americans and black Americans, of course, it's extended to veter veterans and immigrants and just this wider population. And I know that's what you fight for consistently. I fight for all human beings because as I've moved from mainland to Hawaii and have loved it, uh, I recognize that the struggle for human rights, for inclusion, for justice, and for making sure that we stay on point with what's important. And also the, the fight for making sure that our legacy, that, that is the youth, understand why it is important. As Alfonso said, why is it important today what Dr. King fought for uh, 70 years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Alfonso, <coughs> you have several events coming up tomorrow. Yes. And you are going to be the Grand Marshal too, I hear. Yes. So tell us All about right. it. Invite our folks. Uh... Absolutely. We would love it if everyone <coughs> could come out tomorrow to the parade and rally. And also, there are a lot of activities. I mean, uh, this morning we're going to leave here. We have a unity service in honor of Dr. King. He was a preacher at Trinity Missionary Baptist Church at 10 o'clock this morning. And then tomorrow morning, uh, we will have the parade at 9 and a unity rally in the park uh, at 11. Also, there, are a block, there is a black block party tonight at uh, 7 out at uh, Kapolei. Okay, so lots of uh, lots of activities. activities Everyone can can, uh, can partake and celebrate. Yeah, and of course, uh, we talk a lot about uh, Dr. King's legacy, mm -hmm. but Hawaii actually inspired a lot of his work. Also, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's interesting because the human rights and the uh, commission, the first one was here. You know, and so. When Dr. King made his second visit to Hawaii, he came to speak to the commission. There was a week-long conference being held by UH. So when we talk about Hawaii leading the nation in so many things with, pertaining to human and civil rights, they've led and they continue to lead. And that's part of the King legacy that we honor and celebrate. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Robinson, just uh, on, a, on a note, looking forward, we talked about the legacy of future leaders, and mentoring these future leaders. What would your advice be and where should we be focusing on? Well, I think that education is the critical piece that we have to be involved with. That is what is preparing the youth of today to take over positions. That is, in fact, our legacy. We need to be open. We need to be honest, and we need to make sure that the youth for today, the young people, men and women, 
understand what the challenges have been so that they can understand how they can address challenges today and in the future. The challenges I do not think will change. The time will change, the spirit will change, the people will change, but I think the challenges are still the same. Yeah, definitely, and uh, the fight continues, as you said, Alfonso, yes. um, <coughs> to keep that in mind. Thank you so keep much. That in mind. Absolutely. And uh, of course, Alfonso Bragg and uh, Dr. Adam Robinson joining us this morning. And again, all that information for MLK will be on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com.